I love the law. I love God and I love the fact that He came and that He gave us the law. I love to teach the law and to teach people about the law. But I love to teach the law for the reason that it was given. And I've just seen today so many Christians that we get saved, meaning that we go through the um, out of Egypt and we get baptized, we go through the waters of the Red Sea. And then as in the Old Covenant at Mount Sinai, they got the law and put themselves under the law where they had to do something to get God's blessing. And I see it of so many born again Christians today as well. We get saved, we get baptized, and then somewhere in our walk with God, um, good intentional people and even ourselves, we start putting ourselves again under a law. Um, laws like um, do not masturbate or watch porn, things like that. And we go through a tick box of things that you need to do to be holy again or to be set apart or to be accepted by God. And this kills us because if you look what Paul writes about the law in Romans 6 and 7 and even Romans 5, that he says the main purpose why God gave the law is so that we can see that we are exceedingly sinful. The law was given for the one main purpose of us seeing that God, you are so holy, you are so wonderful, so perfect. Me as a human being in my sinful nature will never ever be able to be as holy and to be accepted and deserving of your blessings. Because we know in the Old Testament, it was said that if you do good, you get good. If you do bad, you get beat. And we must understand that that is the reason the law was given. Now, it says that Jesus Christ came down to earth and God made him who knew no sin to become sin for us. Meaning that Jesus Christ alone has set us free from sin totally. Every single sin that I have done, still doing and going to do, I'm already freed from that. I love the fact that Jesus, or, um, the writer of Hebrews tells us that Jesus Christ has once and for all perfected those who are being sanctified. And it also says further in Hebrews that um, we must realize that because Jesus Christ has saved us from sin, we mustn't even have a consciousness of sin anymore. That is how free we are from sin. We mustn't even think about sin anymore. And um, once we realize this, that we are so set free of sin and we don't have a consciousness of sin, we start walking in our holiness. We start focusing on the fact that I am holy, I am righteous, I am perfect. And that sets me free. One of my heroes was a 16th century monk, Brother Lawrence of the Resurrection. And when they asked him about sin, now this monk, he was famous for applying the presence of God, meaning that the whole day his main focus was only on God and the deeds of Jesus Christ. And it was said that while making food, he would just think about Jesus Christ and about the goodness of God and what God did for him that people that would eat his food would actually get healed or receive healing by just eating his food and there were long lines just to eat his food. And when they asked him about sin and just um, his overcoming of sin, he said that whenever he falls short or fall into sin, that he just accepts it, he says, God, this is who I am. This is who I will always be. And when I was ever to be left to myself, that is what I will stay. And it's only by the grace of Jesus Christ that I can overcome and have freedom over my sin. I'm Louis Scott, and this is Zone Talks.